All right, it happened about 20 minutes ago. Out of a, I was kind of getting up. It happened about 20 minutes ago. I just had a bomb go off. A complete bomb. Early in the morning, it's Saturday the 28th. And wait till you see this, folks. Wait till you see this. I'm going to get my flashlight going. Okay, to start off with, here's my house. There's my meter. There's the pole for my electricity. Got snatched right off of my house. Goes right up, goes over my boat port. And then the scope of this, you'll ne you can't even tell. You can't even tell. There's a tree, my neighbor's tree, landed right there. Let me go around. I am so lucky. Here's the power for my house. I still have power. There's the broke off tree. Totally broke off. It sounded like a complete bomb just went off. Look at my truck. Branches are just up against my truck. Total bomb went off. I know you, you can't see, but this is a, I don't know, 50,000 pound tree snapped in half. I called the power company, they're coming over. I called the emer emergency power company and see what they can do. So my neighbor, he was just over in the Caribbean. I guess they're just home now, because I see his wife's car. Yep. Look at this. Here, I'm on the street. Here's my house. I could almost get my truck out. But I'm going to, I'm, something's gonna hurt it. Something's gonna hurt it if I pull it out, my truck out. Here's the power lines. They're still running. Here's the power lines. Straight over to my and my neighbor's house. Look how it just missed his wife's car. There's the tree, there's his car. I can't believe how people sleep through this. Oh my God. They just were down in the Caribbean and they just get home and this is what happens. I really can't see much, I gotta get out of Gotta get out of spotlight. A flood lamp. All right. I don't know how bad it's hurt my, if it hurt my truck. I got this branch right here. I just backed up. I just backed up to the boat. I can't get out. <sighs> yeah, I'm, my truck is locked in here. Totally locked in. All right, 
right, I barely got the truck out of here. Right in front of the boat. I was parked right in front of the boat. This I had to pull out. I mean, I was sitting right here, right in front of the boat. I just pulled out. I just barely, barely got my truck out of the way. I have a little tiny bit of damage. Right here. Right here, it dented and it broke my little headlight cover. Put a little dent and scratch in it right there. But boy, could that have been worse. Boy, could that have been worse. I mean, I could have been completely out of commission. Completely out of commission. This is unbelievable. I gotta have this out of the way. <laughs> Do not pile any of this wood in front of my house. I gotta come back and forth with the boat. All right, now it's light enough. This is what I woke up to. Let's start here. That's my electric service. And it was ripped completely off the house. There's my meter. There's where it was connected to the house. That's what I woke up to. There's my meter. I heard it, as you could tell. Then the power went up and it went over the carport. And this is what I woke up to. Well, I was sort of up and I heard an explosion. Here's, there you go. And get the scope of it. Let me back up. There's the tree. And I put my truck over here. I barely got my truck out. My truck was sitting right here, and my front door was there's was right here, was right in here, and this is what happens when these oaks decide to break. So you can get the complete scope of it. It's my neighbor's tree. There's the road. And you can't even imagine. Now my the damage, the only thing it did to my truck was it banged it right there. I'll be able to buff that out. <laughs> And it scratched it right up in here. I had these headlight covers on. Because I always hated these headlights. Had these headlight covers on. And it broke one. Broke it. See how the slats here. The slats are all broke. So, I needed to replace them anyhow. Or just get rid of them. I always hated the headlights on this 08 Dodge. Thank God, that's my only lifeline. My only lifeline. So, let me give you the scope of it. There's my big tree. It seems to be doing okay, but I called the power company immediately and had him come out here and he, I had power and 
disconnect the whole thing from this pole right there. There's the cables. This is how big this tree was, folks. Absolutely enormous. And then there's my neighbor's house. And it's his tree. So, it gives you a little bit of the scope. He just came back last night at midnight. And this happened at 4, about 4.30 just came back at midnight from a vacation in the Caribbean. There's his wife's car. Look at that. I'll tell you right now, I'm buying a lotto ticket. That's what I tell all my customers. When they catch a big fish and they get it out from underneath structure, you bet you're so lucky you better buy a lotto ticket. So now it's the cleanup, and now I have to get, we both have to get electricians. Um, because we gotta connect the power. Look at, here's a squirrel. He wants to go back to his house. There's just a squirrel on this, on this tree. But there you go. It was all rotted inside. All wet. It's all wet. Yep. Oh, there he goes. He's wanting to go back to his house. All wet inside. Mold. Growing. Oh man. And there's the tree. Now it's a totem pole. See this? A hole. And I think there was another hole in here. Right about in here. Now all it did was bend his, it didn't take his meter off. His, see, his is soft. His wasn't hard pipe. So, I kind of have the brunt of it over at my house. There's my carport with all the growth on it. My brand new roof on my garage. All that garbage on it. Needless to say, I got today is Saturday. I can't believe, I mean, if I had a charter today, I would have been leaving out right as this probably fell. Around 4.30, quarter to 5. I wouldn't have made it out. At least I got enough room to get the boat in and out. So, uh, I have some pretty extensive damage here. Pretty, not extensive, but I mean, they got to really remount everything here. Well, here's a nice update. I wake up this morning, I walk outside, and there's the tree laying. Within inches, I do have a dent in my truck. Uh, and now, of course, here's my meter and the pole and everything got snatched. And now to get electric back to my house just via electrician, because now the code is they have to run a masthead pole up through my soffit in tooth out through the roof and be three feet above the roof this is going to cost me $2,487 so I sure hope everybody wants to go on a fishing charter because that is quite a hit for a 
not my tree, nothing. I just wake up in the morning. Thank God I wasn't driving out the driveway. About 4.30 in the morning is usually when I drive out the driveway to be at the bait shop at 5, even though it's four minutes from my house. I want to be there before all these weekenders roll in, the kayakers and everything. They take up the entire parking lot. They have no respect for anybody at the bait shop. So I get there very, very early with a charter that isn't even usually going to be till 7 o'clock in the morning. I hope everybody wants to go fishing because now I'm dead broke. Yeah, I'm going to have to foot the bill for this and I may have power tomorrow. Thank God I have a generator in the shop here. That's a hell of a thing to wake up to, huh? Is a $2,500 bill. This is really, really not good. $2,500 deductible on my other perils for my insurance company. I just switched insurance because two years ago I had hurricane damage. I had a you know 10,000 pound tree fall in the corner of my garage back here and poke through the roof of my house into my kitchen with the branches. Paid 600 out of pocket to have that tree taken away by Jerry, the na my neighbor on this side, who is doing the tree work for Tom, which it's his tree over here. And I can't even talk to the insurance company until Monday, and Monday I have a charter with one guy. So that means Tuesday is when I'll be able to talk to the insurance. Because I can't get much done when I'm out on the boat. Can't get much done at all. So... Um, you know, you, I just switched insurance companies like two, three months ago because my old insurance company wanted their money back from when they paid me 15000 from all the money I paid them through the years, and they jacked up my insurance bill $900 a year. So I fired them like the Donald does. He fires people. So I fired them and got a new insurance company. And on top of that, I had to re-up my escrow $900 just to put that into work and will not get that money back until January of next year when the insurance comes due again. And I'll be doing my own insurance from now on and letting them escrow my taxes. So, not good. You can't win at all. You know, and here it is. It's a perfectly good weekend. And I had a guy who wanted to go. Talked a big game. And then never heard, heard back from him. Perfectly good win weekend. I'm hoping I can get the boat out. I got damage on my truck. But, of course, not enough to turn into the insurance company. Um, not good. So now the electrician has to go get supplies, get a whole bunch of guys, and he's got to do my house and my neighbor's house that own the tree. And uh, got to bring it up to code now. All right, that's the update. All righty. It's 9.30 at night, and the same electrician that was here at 9.30 this morning is still here. And the electric company just pulled up to run new cables, or new, new, new power lines between my house and the pole and my neighbor's house in the pole. So we'll go out and we'll see what that's all about. So this being that it's a Saturday, we got one guy from the power company and one truck. 
and I've had basically one electrician and two helpers that kind of were here for a little while. So needless to say, you don't want a tree coming down and snatching your electric right out of the pole and out of your house anytime soon. Go ahead.